let's talk about the myth that is Thanksgiving. First and foremost, we must acknowledge that there was an agreement of mutual protection between the colonists of Plymouth Plantation and Chief Masawit of the Wampanoag people. The only historical documentation of the first Thanksgiving comes from a journal entry from Governor William Bradford of Plymouth Plantation in 1621. He wrote that the Plymouth Plantation was gathering around their small harvest, and he noted the game that they successfully captured and the fish that they stored. During this gathering, the colonist militiamen fired their weapons in a loud commotion, and not long after, 90 Wampanoag men showed up ready for battle. Now this is important, because the Wampanoag people showed up ready for battle and were not invited, as the myth suggests. And over time, this alliance began to fade. You see, with thousands of English colonizers illegally immigrating to Turtle Island and stealing Wampanoag land, conflict began to arise. After the passing of Chief Masawit, his son, Metacomet, known as King Philip to the colonizers, inherited power. After the murder of an interpreter and Christian convert, his men were executed, and this sparked King Philip's war. This war was devastating and brutal. It is estimated that the death toll was 30% of the English population and 50% of the native population in New England. Metacomet was captured, dismembered, and his head was impaled on a pike and displayed in the town for 25 years. Other historians point to 1637 as the beginning of Thanksgiving as we know it, when Governor John Winthrop of Massachusetts declared a day of celebration when soldiers returned from slaughtering hundreds of Pequot men, women, and children. Now, 200 years later, a gentleman by the name of Alexander Young rewrote one paragraph from Governor Bradford's journal of the first Thanksgiving. In this rewrite, he lied about three things. First, he left out the parts about the militiamen firing their weapons. Second, he lied that the colonists invited the Wampanoag people. And three, he lied that the Wampanoag people came with venison and turkey and bestowed it upon the governor before the feast. And he made one little footnote that said this was the first Thanksgiving, and the name stuck. Then, in 1863, Abraham Lincoln nationalized the holiday through a proclamation. Do I celebrate Thanksgiving? No. For me and other Native American people, it is a national day of mourning. It is a day to remember the sacrifice of our ancestors. We mourn the relatives who never were because of genocide. We mourn for our stolen lands. We mourn because the struggles are not over.